King News, my wonderful people, what Senate President is doing to ensure that Buhari is not impeached will shock you, going against the very will of the people. These people, to be quite candid, are unbelievably, you know, they are, they are, they are, I don't know what name to call them. Yes, now speaking, Lawa is sitting on over uh, 12 letters of APC senators who wants to leave APC and join the opposition party. What that means is that if they join the opposition party, they will not be defending Buhari. And so what is he doing? He's sitting on it. He's ensuring that he does not make the formal announcement because, you know, when you resign at work and all that, there is a procedure, okay, on how things should go. And so this is what uh, uh, he's doing to avoid Buhari's impeachment, to ensure that, you know, Buhari is not sent away and, you know, does not have enough backing. And this is what he's trying to do. Well, my wonderful people, these are some of the things that is happening right now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Lawa sits over letters of 12 APC senators who wants to leave the party to avoid Buhari's impeachment. The Senate President Ahmed Lawa is sitting over the letters of at least 12 of progressive Congress senators in order to block any impeachment threat against his president and the presidency, President Muhammadu Buhari. Already, the numerical strength of APC in the Red Chamber has reduced from 64 to 62 in the upper chamber. From the, for the People Democratic Party, the numerical strength has risen from 39 to 41, Why the new Nigerian People's Party has two, with Young Progressive Party and All Progressive Grand Alliance, with one each. Adding to this will make Buhari have a loss. If the letters of the, a of the 12 APC senators are read on the floor, the numerical strength of the ruling party will be reduced to 50. Reduced senators, which will eventually threaten Lawa's seat as the Senate president. Among the senators who the Senate president is sitting upon his letter of notice is Senator Adamo Bankole, who submitted his letter to Lawa. This, the senator elected on the platform of the opposition party had on Wednesday demanded for the impeachment of President Muhammad Buhari over the country's worsening insecurity. Some opposition senators were at the consideration of removing the Senate president if he's standing against the impeachment process of President Muhammad Buhari. And so Lawa is trying everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that he prevents these guys from moving from his party. Moving from their party will mean Buhari will lose his position and will be impeached and him himself as a senate president may not stand a chance so he's trying to do everything possible to ensure that he avert this situation pre refusing to read out their letters on the floor and approve their moving so this is what is happening is postponing the evil days if you want to say if you want to give it that word i think you are not far from the truth he's trying to postpone it and ensure that these guys do not move because it, once they move, and I don't understand why this, even if they move, even if those uh, 12 move, APC will still be left with a whole 50. You know, the funniest thing, I, I really, I really sincerely wish that they experience what they are making Nigerians to go through. If something is not working and you stay with it, it shows that giving it a solidarity support. You are telling the thing, there's no problem. I'm quite happy with the way things are. Well, you are doing well. If you are not happy, if you are unhappy with it, you will be one of the first person to speak to say this cannot continue. Both House of Representative members yesterday showed to Nigerians that they were tired of President Muhammad Buhari and truly, really want the status quo to change. They came up to give Buhari the same ultimatum that you know the Senate has already given Buhari. Everybody knows that this is wrong, but yet those that are in Buhari's government are trying their hardest best possible to make it look like all is going well. You and I know. Not anybody trying to castigate President Muhammad Buhari that this man has failed in no small way. Why are we quiet in the face of all that is happening? Why are we pretending? Why? 
Why do we allow more people to be kidnapped, more people to be killed because we are, we are, we are carrying solidarity on the wrong path? This man has destroyed the nation in no small way, yet nobody is speaking out to say enough. Enough is enough. Terrible things are happening, and yet everybody is quiet, pretending. Excuse me. This devastation has got to come to an end. So truly, sincerely speaking, Nigeria can move forward. The days upon us are the days where Nigerians must rise up to the occasion and refuse this oppression of darkness being instigated and pushed at us. The time to advance and to make real progress is now. For if we fail to take the bull by the horn, when you fail to leave the, 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 the ovation, you leave to leave the stage when the ovation is loudest, I tell you sincerely speaking, you have missed, missed a very crucial time for you to have any form of relevance and remembrance of what you have done. You leave when the ovation is loudest, not when all things are falling apart. Buhari's administration has destroyed the nation in no small way. Yet we are all sitting down and pretending that all is going well. Why do we do that? Who exactly are we deceiving? Don't we know the right things to do? Don't we know what is right from wrong? Why are we staying on the path of injustice, of lies, and propagating it, carrying it on as if all is well? There is time for everything the English are this chase. But are we really maximizing that opportunity? Are we really maximizing it to ensure that we, we, you know, we, we do that which you know, it, it's right? So these are the things that are happening. These are some of the things that we are experiencing as a people and as a nation. And the time to advance is now. So that at the end of the day, every one of us can truly say we have a nation that we are proud of. For if we fail to take the right decision when we should, then... We have no one to blame but ourselves. Okay, we have no one to blame but ourselves. And so that right decision we need to take is now. It's not a question of uh, when, it's now. There is no when about it, it's now. The rising up for every one of you, you and I, it's now. That's the only way we can truly make a headway. If we keep, you know, deceiving ourselves, it, it will be on us. It will be on us that we have not done what we should do, you see. We, we, we need to rise up and we need to, you know, we need to avert this current opposition threat going on right now. Please don't forget, remember that every one of us have got a duty here, so we must continue to speak out. So at the end of the day, we are truly sincerely happy as a nation and as a people. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe, click on the notification button. God bless, have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.